Connor McDavid had himself a night. Five points, helps the Oilers beat the Flyers 5-2. He's continued his absolute tear, 10 points in his last five games. So let's break down McDavid's night tonight. Starts out with a goal here, beautiful skating, opens up, good hard shot in the five hole. Probably one heart should have had, but Oilers go up one nothing. That'd be his only goal of this match, but the rest of the game, he'd be dropping dimes. Like this one over to Hyman, good finish there by Hyman, but look at that spin, no look pass just a beautiful feed the oilers get themselves a two nothing lead now later on in the game it's tied 2-2 good tic-tac-toe play hyman to mcdavid mcdavid over to nugent hopkins we got ourselves a 3-2 game fourth goal here mcdavid using his speed and skating ability and just a no look beautiful pass over to dry saddle for a one-timer they would go up 4-2, and then he decides to get a little saucy, saucer pass over. Great feed to Nugent Hopkins. This would be the final score, 5-2. When you watch McDavid play, he's extremely well-rounded. He has a great shot. He has phenomenal feel for where his teammates are going to be. Like, some of these no-look passes are extremely difficult. Using his speed and skating to open up a lane when he fed it over to Dreisaitl. The reason why that whole goal happened, the Flyers have to respect McDavid's shot because he's got a lethal one. So he's going to use his skating, get on his forehand. The players have to respect it. That opens up a lane. He throws over Dreisaitl and there's just no shot for Hart on that one. And with the saucer pass, the great touch he has on that, not to make it too hard or too soft to get it over to Nugent Hopkins. It's incredible to watch McDavid play. I'll also mention Stuart Skinner had himself a good night, 35 saves on 37 shots against for a 946 save percentage, and he's really turned things around for the beginning of the season, and while he'll have the occasional down game, he's been very good for the Oilers and given them exactly what they've needed. Considering how bad the Oilers were earlier in the season, they're only one point back with a game in hand from the Arizona Coyotes for a second wildcard spot, and only four back with three games in hand for the first spot in the wildcard behind Nashville. Now we'll they be able to climb back in the top three i mean it's possible they're only six points back of the kings great stretch here for the oilers and hopefully they're able to keep up this dominance and with mcdavid playing how he has been i don't think it's a stretch to say there's going to be a lot more wins to come already has 900 points in his career the fifth fastest to do so it's hard to put into words how really good this guy has been throughout his nhl career what play impressed you the most tonight in this game i'm captain paul i'll see you in the next one